All right, Collector 007 here with uh, something a little bit different for the channel, but um, that's what I've been trying to do lately, uh, mix things up a little bit. And uh, anyway, this is a product by a company called Arix Med, and it's Emergency Laceration Closure Kit. And so this is a, a kit that comes with um, four different packages. And as you can see by the picture here, it's designed to use in an emergency to close up a cut. So instead of gluing the cut like some people do, or even using staples, um, this is something that you could do at home. You could do if you're traveling, if you you know have an RV and you're, you're traveling around and you're, you're in a place where there isn't a emergency center or something like that. Um, you could you know use this if you're um, whatever at work, if you do something slightly dangerous where you cut yourself. Um, you could use it for sporting events. Uh, you could use it if you have little children or grandchildren that are always cutting themselves. It's, it's a good thing to have. So basically, um, this is something that just caught my eye on Amazon, and uh, I'll show you how this works. Um, I, I've never tried it, but um, I just uh, I thought I should have some, having um, little ones around the house lately. Um, it's uh, something I thought I should have. So. The way this works basically is you get, like I said, you get four of these different closure devices. They put in a bunch of um, Q-tips here so you could apply a little um, antibiotic ointment if you want to. Um, they've got a bunch of alcohol pads, so I guess the first thing you would do is uh, wipe, wipe a cut down if you got a cut with an alcohol pad, then apply a little bit of antibiotic, and then you would open up one of these packages here like so. So um, we're going to try this, actually. This is live on the air, first time doing this, but it's better to do it now in a non-emergency situation than during an emergency situation. So let's see. So we're going to get rid of that. So the way this looks like it works, and we're going to use, voila, a dummy hand. I was going to use a um, child or grandchild, but they all seem too busy to help me. So I'm using a blown up rubber glove. So let's say that is your cut right there. Um, basically, I guess what you're going to do is let's say we're going to we would wipe it down with the alcohol, apply, like I said, the antibiotic, and then you would peel this off. And again, bear with me, never did this. You apply it over the cut like so, and it's adhesive. And then I guess you pull this off, this part right here, let's see, like this. And this is designed to, you could, they say you could keep this up to, up to 14 days, but from reading uh, some reviews, um, people say it takes about seven days to uh, do it. And then what you do is once that's over the cut like that and everything's applied, you pull this. Okay, I see how that works. So, wow, okay. So you pull these little strips like so, and we'll do that a little even tighter, and that's it. Now, once that's done, the wound is now closed. You didn't use any stitches or anything like that, and then they say you could just twist these off, or you can cut them off. So, no, oh, I see. So if you just twist them a couple of times like so, um, they snap off. So you don't even need to have like a scissor with you or anything like that. So you have that. Let's just turn it that way. It's easier for me. Um, I think it's something cool. I think it's something that everyone should have in their house. Um, like I said, um, we got little ones running around lately and they are constantly cutting themselves and uh, you know, sometimes they need stitches and if it's on a Sunday or something, um, you got to go to the hospital and wait for hours and hours. Now, this isn't good, obviously, for a deep, deep, deep cut, but if someone, you know, falls off their bicycle or whatever is playing in the backyard, you know, they can do it. Anyway, so that's this is the way that works. Um, what's good about this is, again, um, first of all, this is made out of like a cotton type of device on the inside. Um, there's no stitches. It's painless. It supposedly leaves no scars because it's just pushing everything together. It's pushing the skin together. Um, it doesn't leave like those railroad track type of scars. So that's that's a big one because my body is riddled with those. And again, as I said before, there's no glue needed. Some people will get crazy glue and, and stick something together and then put a Band-Aid over it. 
um, so it doesn't need that or staples. And, uh, you know, so like I said, it's good for camping, for home, for sports, for work, keep it in your car, emergency kit. And these are two by two. So, um, you know, so again, not a deep, deep laceration. I don't know if it would work on, uh, but, you know, something like th that, I think it's um, I think it's a good device. So I'm going to leave the link below. If it's something uh, you're interested in, click on the link. Um, I, I love when I see something that's new to me. If, for you guys who may be in the medical field, doctors or EMTs or something, this might have been around for a hundred years. I don't know. To me, it's, it's a brand new item. And like I said, I want to keep these on hand. So I'm actually going to buy a couple of more uh, packages of these and they're very, very inexpensive. So again, to, ra rather than taking a screaming grandchild to the ER room, I think it would be better if uh, grandpa applied these, uh, you know, at the kitchen table. I think it would be a lot easier on the child. So again, the company is called uh, Arix Med and uh, you know one two three you saw how I did it thank you mr. rubber hand there uh, you you know put it on secure it tighten the straps you're done so that's it all right thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe